Good morning and welcome to the Edges of Earth. My name is Brock. Today I'm in the Arapalayam bus stand in Madurai. I'm going to take a local bus and go to a village called Solovandan. The bus that I'm taking is just like right over here, the little white bus. And uh, we're leaving in like 10 minutes. And I don't know what to expect. Let's go. Amazing. So I just arrived in Solovandan. Basically, I'm just going to walk to the river. I have no idea where I'm going. I really have no idea about what to do. I tried to Google a couple interesting things in the area. Couldn't find anything particularly unique. So I'm just gonna walk. So I found the river, but <laughs> there's definitely not, definitely not a lot of water. Oh my god, I almost stepped in someone's, uh, I don't know what this is, wheat maybe? Wheat grain? I don't know if it's dry. So I found, at the end of the, the bridge, I found some steps to go down. Uh, and there's like many trails next to the water, so I guess I'm just gonna walk around uh, the river, see what's happening over there. So I just talked to a couple seniors in high school. We tried to communicate through body language and, uh, and a little bit of simple English. And uh, anyway, um, they wanted to say hello. Hello. Uh so I made it to the bottom of the bridge. Which way should I go? Should I go this way? Or should I go this way? I don't know. Decisions, decisions. I found the water. It's totally swimmable. It's flowing a little bit more over here. That looks fun. I just hope I don't step on glass. That's my only fear. The water is so nice though. Oh my god. It's like bath water. So <laughs> I'm just walking along here thinking it's so weird how sometimes I just go to places with absolutely no intention whatsoever literally just walk so sometimes I I go and I'm interested in food sometimes I go and I'm interested in everything that's weird to many people and today I'm just in nature just looking at the river looking at bugs and uh, I don't know just enjoying being free I guess it didn't take me more than 10 minutes for someone to see me under the bridge and I have a whole group of people, children, who ran up to me. And they're like, come swimming! But I'm like, no, because last time when I was swimming in Madurai, I had the problem with a guy with a machete who stole my everything. So, unfortunately, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna hang out for a couple minutes. So apparently right now these guys are fishing, so they they slap a fish and it kills it and then they can uh, get the fish. I think he got one. Wow. He got one fish. This is amazing. So does it do damage or concussion? Or? Expert. <laughs> Yeah, very, uh, very good. And there were more kids who came up to me and wanted to show me their uh, fish. I don't know how they caught them, either with a net or by hand, or if they used a big stick. I don't know. Um, so now, oh, I just tried to fly the drone and I realized that I forgot my cable. Um, since I got a new phone, I have to use the same cable that I used to charge the phone. So unfortunately, I charged my phone this morning and I left the cable there. I forgot. Normally, it was a, a different cable and it was always in my bag, so I gotta get used to that habit. So anyway, now I'm going to go back into the city, uh, the town, the village, I guess, and uh, see if I can find something to eat. So I went back up on the opposite side of the river and I had a lady who helped me because I wasn't sure how to get up. 
and there was a, a giant dog that I thought was going to eat me. He was not happy that I was in his neighborhood, so that was terrifying. So now I'm on my way to uh, kind of the town behind me. I'm starting to get hungry. It's about 1.30. So I've been trying to find a place to eat without using my GPS, but I, I keep stumbling in front of shops that are not restaurants. But I went to like meat shops where they're chopping animals into pieces and such, and now clothing shops. Now, now I'm in the clothing section, so unfortunately I can't find a restaurant to eat, but I know they're nearby. And now I'm in the fruit and vegetable market area. Maybe I should use my GPS. So I ate inside a small restaurant. I ordered uh, egg biryani, so it should be coming in the next minute. So the food came and it's like really big. I'm not sure if I can eat all this. Wow, so I managed to get that whole thing down. I am so full, I could barely eat the last couple of bites. It was 50 rupees, by the way. So now, basically, I don't know, I'm gonna go this way. I looked at the GPS. There's another small road that kind of goes this way. I don't know where I'm going. I'm so slowly kind of going back to the river again. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Tea does sound pretty good right about now, so if I find a tea shop, I'll definitely stop, but I don't know if I'll get that lucky. So on my GPS, I found like a side road that goes this way towards the river, and now I have like a tail kind of following me. This woman is helping me get here. It's an interesting little journey for five minutes to get to the river. It's so cool, people have like chilies drying outside. There was coconuts and other things drying. This way, yeah. It's really cool, it's very, uh, uh, I don't know how to describe areas like this. It's, you have a huge sense of community. Everybody lives so close, right on top of each other. And so it's, uh, I don't know, it's just really cool to walk through places like this. Yeah, bye guy. You have a crocodile? I don't know how to say crocodile. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, it's cool. They escorted me all the way here to the uh, Awesome, so I made it to the river again. And the dogs that are barking are for me, which makes me nervous. But, yeah, so that was fun, going to that little village and everybody wanted to help me get here. I'm concerned about like other things. I don't know, maybe snakes or hidden crocodiles are gonna try to eat me. I don't know. It's cool though. I enjoy walking through here. I made it out alive, no crocodiles, no big snakes. Pulled me down into the weeds, so that's good news. So now I really don't know what to do. I really enjoy just sitting out in nature. I think this dog is gonna try to eat me again. I don't know, kind of scary. Hello. Movie, movie. Yeah, watch out. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Huh? Sit here? No problem? Where do we stop? Sit here? Sit. Sit, sit. Oh, I stepped in shit. Wait. Uh, one minute. <laughs>
I just stepped in shit. Ugh. That's a yeah. good That's a good Okay. Uh, okay, we're going to sit here. So this is happening right now. Basically, they they wanted to see the photos on my camera, so I showed them. Then the the man brought me up here to a temple. He's right behind the camera right now. And so they're looking at some of the photos, the videos that I took today. And uh, I showed them some magic. They had uh, coin magic, so that was fun. I made all the coins go through all of their hands at the same time, and they couldn't believe it. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> Hi. 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 Bro, bro. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, so somehow I got talked into coming out here to the river again. Um, and so everybody's kind of hanging out around me. Um, we're speaking with very simple English to communicate to each other. But when I was up at their house area, the temple area, um, I could translate perfectly. So that was fun. But anyway, um, I guess we're going to walk along the river again. I don't know what's going on. The women came up to me and they were showing me uh, the laundry. We're having a competition to see who can skip the most. So far I've seen one. Ooh, that was good. That was like four. That was like four. Oh. <laughs> so excited. The mother wanted me to take a photo of the daughters, but then when I got the camera out, they all ran away, and then the boys came. <laughs> So they brought me over here so I could watch them do flips into the water. And then the men over here, again, I met I met this morning. They were using the, the rod to hit the fish. I happened to see them again, and uh, they have two bags just full of fish. It's amazing. That's a unique method that I'll have to try someday. Hi! Hey, what up? Run, jump. I sat for a little while, watched them jump in the water, I guess. They wanted me to film pretty much everything that they did, even though sometimes I pretended that I was filming, so I didn't just waste tons of footage, <laughs> tons of space. Anyway, it's really hot here in the evening. It feels really nice, though. I've been inside for a couple weeks. So anyway, so now basically I'm going to go up the stairs, go to the main road, find the bus. I totally didn't do a whole lot today. I would love to come back and just fly the drone. That'd be kind of nice. It's such a beautiful area. It's very wide open. There's constantly people going in and out all over the place. So it's, I don't know, it's kind of fun. Main road. Main road. Straight. Straight. Main road. Straight. 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 Okay, going straight. So now I'm back in the town. I was going to look for a tea shop. I found one, but you have to stand up to drink tea. I'd prefer to uh, sit at a nice table. It'd be nice. So I might find a tea shop between now and the bus stand. It's about 4.30. I'm probably going to head home very soon. Today was a very uneventful day. I didn't really do much. I just kind of walked around and looked at the river, but it was fun. I'm glad I got outside of the city and out of my room and uh, just kind of enjoy it a little bit. It's always fun to meet new people. Some people are just so excited to try to communicate with you. So it's, I don't know, it's fun. I'm going to uh, go to the bus stand and head back to the city. Hello. Oh my god, not the bus. One second. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, hello. Anyway, so that's it. I'm just gonna go back to the bus stand and probably uh, just go home. As I'm walking to the bus stand, a bus came next to me and tons of students got off and they started talking. And he wants me to go this way so I can the camera can see his area. And then he'll show me which way the, the bus stand is. Okay. 
Thank you all for watching. Remember, your time is running out. Start living. Take care.